Well, we have another breaking piece of information as the day proceeds. We are getting fresh inputs and this is regarding a tweet. Chandrayaan 3 mission is Ro's fresh tweet, social media post that has come in, which is saying that Chandrayaan 3 rover made in India, made for the moon. Now, the CH3 rover ramped down from the lander and India took a walk on the moon. This is the post that we are getting. Definitely quite a proud moment yesterday when uh, we saw this particular mission successfully landing on the moon and you can see the post right here on front of, in front of you wherein the ISRO team has tweeted and they have said the Chandrayaan-3 mission, Chandrayaan-3 rover made in India, made for the moon, the Chandrayaan-3 rover ramped down from the lander and India took a walk on the moon. More updates to come in soon. This is the particular tweet that we have received from ISRO's official page. And we have uh, Harish Upadhyay joining us on the broadcast. Harish, well, quite a proud moment. Definitely quite another expression of pride from ISRO. Definitely a big, big moment for India yesterday when they landed. And this is the particular tweet that we have. What more are we gathering? Well, it's an official confirmation that uh, Pragyan Rover has uh, not just stepped out of the uh, the lander has also moved around on the surface of the moon. Uh, we are just waiting to hear if the two payloads which are part of the rover have started their experiment or uh, if ISRO would like to assess a few more parameters before starting any experiment. But uh, definitely, uh, at least the initial targets have been met. The uh, achievement is there. We've had a soft landing. We've had the rover successfully uh, roll out of the lander and move on the surface of the moon. Uh, payloads working and carrying out the scientific experiments, uh, those were never really the biggest challenges of this mission. Uh, soft landing and ensuring the rover uh, moving on the surface of the moon were the biggest challenge. Remember, uh, if you see the footage that come on, the photos that come out from the lander, it's a challenging terrain. Uh, there was always a risk of a rover toppling if the incline was too much. Uh, ISRO looks to, uh, seems like it has picked up the right spot as they have uh, mapped earlier and picked up a spot where the rover can move easily and carry out experiments. So what will happen in the next uh, 13 days or so, uh, there are five payloads, uh, three on the land up. They would carry out the experiments. The rover, uh, which directly communicates only with the lander, will move in the near vicinity of the lander and will start doing these experiments. Two major payloads on the rover. Uh, one is a spectrometer, uh, which will look at the chemi chemical composition uh, of the soil of uh, lunar surface. The other is the spectrosphere, uh, that's a laser-based uh, one that will look at the element composition uh, of the lunar surface. These are experiments that the rover will carry out in the near vicinity uh, in the next few days or so. But ISRO has nearly 13 days to carry out these experiments. Absolutely, Harish. Thank you for bringing us all those details. Definitely, the next 13 days are very crucial for this mission where such experiments are to be conducted. We will bring you all the updates as we get them. But for now, we're going to slip into a short break. Stay tuned to CNN News 18 to bring you all the latest.